you know, I just saw this thing online about this little kid, Elvid Dervishi, and no one would say happy birthday to him at school because he has a disease. I think for so many different reasons, there's times in life where almost everybody has felt being shunned. Maybe just by one person, maybe by a group of people, maybe by the whole world. I don't know. It just depends. But these people that make these decisions of who gets to be popular and who gets to be shunned, they don't really know what they're talking about most of the time. They're acting on animal instincts. And a lot of the people that do experience adversity and not being the most popular one have a lot to offer and sometimes a lot more to offer because of it so for all the elvids out there and all the kids I know bullying is at an all-time high right now and it has a lot to do with the internet how easy that makes everything and keeping up with social networking and looking your best in pictures etc 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 and I know it's getting a lot harder for kids now um, because of that. And, uh, you know, unfortunately we do see the results of bullying and a lot of these kids going a negative way with it. And, um, you know, I get bullied all the time. <laughs> that's, that's my life these past long time now but especially these past three years that's that's all I experience and what I realize over and over and over again is that the person that is doing that is that small and they only bother to harass you because you are that important to them they see something they see something that scares them or something that they compete with or whatever it is. So if it's happening to you, realize in this really messed up way, it's because you're special to that person. And try your best to feel sympathy for the bullier and realize that they really don't like who they are. And that's why they're behaving that way. It doesn't have to do with you. And you not being good enough. It has to do with them and what it says about them. I mean, I've heard so much petty stuff, you guys. People constantly are telling me how cold it is outside. And it's like, they obviously know I live outside. You know? Oh, well, do you have a house? Well, then if you don't, you must be insane, right? They don't see what I did as noble. They, they see it as socially threatening to them because I some friends bailed and I had to bail on my friends and therefore I'm, I'm worthless. That's, that's what they're saying. And all these, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. But you know what? They're cold. They're cold. So, to all you kids out there that are experiencing similar things as I do as an adult, keep going. If nothing else, but to come back and ruin their day about how great you're doing in the future. Oh, it's satisfying. So, do it for you, and do it to have that neener neener moment down the road, because they're giving you a gift in rejecting your company. Because now you don't have to hang out with them. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Very nice of them to take them out of your friend pool, okay? so. Anyway, that's that's my message to all you kids that are that are experiencing bullying. I know it's it's getting really tough out there and if it gets too tough just turn off the social media.